Oh. Hey, Kyle. How's it going? Nah, I'm good. I just woke up. Now nah, we're here. Oh, oh. Hey, we, we took a good bit off, though. Yeah. This is that time of the year. And that was last week. I, I'm not going to lie. Me and Megan, Megan has made me play Minecraft every single minute of every single day. So I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, I got to get up early and do stuff before I'm sitting in a chair for like eight hours playing Minecraft. Okay. Well, um, I don't know how to process that. But do you okay. want to play it? Do you want to play? Um, I don't have Wi-Fi, so I can't. If, if I, I did, I would, and you know I would. It's all right. We got Tommy playing with us now. Oh, I don't know how to process that. I mean, if I have to suffer, I'd rather have someone help me get through. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. How he's playing Minecraft suffering. You know I'm not good at Minecraft. You're not good at life. Huh? I said you're not good at life. Oh, no. Art, our art imitates life, so if I suck at Minecraft, I'm gonna suck at life. I, I mean, I'm, personally, I don't remember you being that good at building things in real life either, so I mean, I think um, it kind of levels out. Oh, dude, you gotta just see it. Megan's done built like four houses. Me and Tommy are trying to build like this big old castle. Um, I mean, it's just endless possibilities. Like, Megan, apparently, you know, this new company, ooh, excuse me, this new company makes the map that's expanded. Yeah. So Megan's like, hey, I'm not in the negative coordinates anymore. I'm in the positives. Where are you at? I was like, and the negative she's like oh that took me two hours to get over here it's like come on i said <laughs> oh just Why build a just teleport to her you can't in this version oh you can't use cheat codes no man, you can't use cheat codes oh, i mean i guess bro i wish dude the uh so here's the thing Tommy, the first day we all three played, you know, Tommy was like, hey, I'm going to go check this stuff out. He's like, oh, dude, I found this cool store area. You have to come. Bro, it took me four hours to get over. That's a chair. I'm sorry. No, you're good. It took me four hours to get over there. And not because it's how long I took him. I kept dying. Yeah. And Tommy's like, I need Devin to bring me bed. I need him to bring me some wood. I need to bring this and this and this. And the man goes, why are you Why are you asking Devin for help? You know he's going to die. He's like, I believe in Devin. Oh, Devo? My boy. You die. I died a lot. Mm -hmm. And Tommy, man, he was That's waiting. Good. You there? Yeah, can you hear me? Unfortunately. All right. No, that's like Tommy being Tommy. He was like, I believe in him. And Megan's like, dude, you're going to be waiting for hours. He's like, ah, it'll be okay. But when I finally get to, we built this huge, huge ass tower. I was like, what are we doing? He's like, devil, my boy, we're going to build this castle. Because, you know, we're all on Discord talking to each other. Mm -hmm. And he sent it in our chat. And I was like, oh my god, we're going to build this? He's like, yep. And I was like, alright, here we go. I should download Discord just so I can hear this conversation. You want to? I may. We'll have to see where this goes afterwards. But, um, are you ready to review a movie? <laughs> oh yeah, oops, yeah, I'm ready. Alright, so, which one do you want to review? Uh, let's, let's just do the Eternals real fast. Lead the okay. way, Kyle. So, today on Popcorn Buckets, we are reviewing Marvel's Eternals. Uh, Devin, can you recap the movie? Nope, because that movie was too long. The plot was half confusing, so uh, you lead this one. I'll do the next one. 
why, why do you think I know the movie? I've only seen it eight or nine times. Exactly. Okay. So when we I start do, off. I do what? have. After we get done with the recap, I do have a question about one of the post credit scenes. Is it about your mom? No. It's about the guy that opened the sword. Was that a post credit scene to Black Knight? Yes. Yes, it was. Let's go. All right. Go ahead and go. I'm sorry. Well, hold up. You want to roll back there for a minute? Who do you think was talking? King you sure Arthur. You want to do that? King Arthur? No. Blade. Was it for real, Blade? Yeah. It's supposed to be Blade. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. No. Yeah. Mr. Blade, the Blade, the Vampire Hunter Blade? Yes. Hold on, I'm about to Google this. Recap the movie, I'm Googling this. Okay. So, basically, uh, we start off with Icarus yeeting um, the mother figure of the group to um, some deviants. And this, um, basically, um, hold on a second, let me get my thoughts straight. So, she eats them, feeds them to her, um, or sorry, feeds the, her to the deviants, and then they mutate, okay? Yep. Uh, and then, so, the Eternals have been there for decades, protecting humanity, building Satan, to eradicate the deviants. And all in the goal to like get back to their home. And then, and what was it, 2021? All this, wait, after the events of Endgame and all, and they're like, oh, okay, so we only protect from certain threats, which, not gonna lie to you. They they should have been there for Endgame by those standards, but you know plot holes. But we are we're, we're they're they're putting together a team after Sprite and Kit Harrington and um, Cersei. My my thoughts are scrambled. So, let me, hold on a second. Sorry about that. I got distracted because I'm going to need something. All right. You're good. Uh, All right. All right. You- so, recap in the movie. All right. Let me try again. After that horrible attempt. Uh, so basically, the Eternals have been on Earth for like decades, from ancient times. Okay? Right. You with me? Yep, ancient times. I'm with you. Okay, well, I don't see you. Don't worry, I'm here, bud. That worries me. Dude, I'm just, I'm living on the couches right now at FSU, just sipping a body armor. I don't believe you. Um, I'm here. So something. Touche. So something. Right now. Touche. Okay. But basically they've been here for decades. And then so the movie starts picking up after the events of Endgame, okay? Alright. But nobody knows of the Eternals. Except for... The, um... Celestials and the Asgardians, I think. Um, I think they said the Asgardians knew who they were. Well, Odin, the uh, Gilgamesh, um, and Odin shared like tips for brewing, and also uh, Gilgamesh was fought alongside Odin, so. 
Oh yeah, he knows they're there. Yep. So there's that. Then so they're like our our main people are Cersei, Sprite, and Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington is the the one normal guy who has the hunts for Cersei who works at the British Museum or a school or something. And yeah. they they've got the hunts for each other. Yeah, I couldn't tell if she was working in a museum or a school. I was like, I'm assuming it's a school. Yeah. And then, so Spike tells Kit Harrington everything. And he doesn't believe her completely. But, you know, it's Spike. But Spike's stuck as a child. Um, but she's thousands of years old. Okay? Right. Um, then an earthquake happens, and because it's the uh, celestial starting to wake up, and then deviants start hunting them. Um, so Cersei and Brian have to take in action. Action. Kit Harrington witnesses all, and then boom, they're swooped in and saved by. Guess it's Superman. I mean, Icarus. I know, dude. That was a running joke. They're like, oh my god, it's Superman! He's like, I don't wear a cape. I'm like, dude, you fly like him. You shoot lasers like him. You're Superman. Yep. But... Although, he kept, to me, he kept looking like Bucky Barnes in some shots. I'm like, Bucky? Yeah, I saw that too. I could not see it once I, uh, once I started the movie, I was like, Bucky? Well, the guy that plays Gilgamesh, when I first saw him, I was like, Wong? Because they look similar. You too, huh? Mm-hmm. I did but, too. I lied to you. And then I'd be like, Bucky? Wong? But they're, they're slightly different, but I can see the differences. Gilgamesh was my favorite character, though. Quick question. Have you watched She-Hulk yet? I haven't watched it yet. I haven't. Okay. Um, I'm going to watch it noted, later. We're doing this. We're recording this in 2021 or 2022. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. She-Hulk's out. And I just saw the Dragon Ball movie. I've just finished Miss Marvel. Yep. It's okay. I haven't started it neither. I was just like, man, it's Miss Marvel. Well, I've got distracted by a book I'm reading, so. Oh, what are you it's reading? That, uh, Carry On by Rambo Raul. Oh. It's like Harry Potter mixed with Game of Thrones mixed with Twilight. Don't tell Megan that book. She'll want it. She won't. She didn't like Heart Stopper, so. Oh, they're mod. Yeah. But anyways, continue. I'm sorry. It just made me think. I was like, I ain't watched She-Hulk yet. I didn't know if you had watched it yet. Dude, the Heartstopper comics are everywhere now. And Barnes & Noble. Is a new book out yet? No, it, it, it comes out. What did it say? October? Yeah. I could be wrong. But the movie. So... Um, after they get attacked, Icarus and them decide to go to Montana and where they find the leader, Ajax had been, um, I just want you to, I've been avoiding saying Ajax because I could not remember the name. Oh, the lady that's, uh, oh, that really famous lady? Yeah, the, the attractive one. Oh yeah, Ajax, yes, yes. Dude, when she died, I was like, no! Oh, yeah. So, apparently... Um, so, she was killed by... Um, what's, who is it? Uh, Apris, but we don't know that yet. Um, she was sacrificed by Icarus to, like, 
get the team back together and all that. Right. Uh, and she was like absorbed by one of the deviants, which mutated the deviants. So that was fun. Uh, teenage mutant deviant turtles and a half shell. Turtle power. Um, but after this, the deviants start hunting the Eternals to like power up. Um, but believe it or not, the um. Do you know who does the motion capture for the Deviants? Did they? I said, do you know who? Who? I think it was Bill Skarsgård. The guy that played Pennywise. Makes sense. You didn't see it, did you? I did not see it, no. But that would make sense. Yep, so the first person they go to recruit is who was it? Gilgamesh and Thena? Yeah, Thena and Gilgamesh. Thena, drop the A. Oh, Thena. Yes, uh, Angelina Jolie. Wait, Angelina Jolie. Now, she has space Alzheimer's, uh, which means that her previous memories are collapsing on her current memories. So she goes in bits of psychotic rage. Yeah, wasn't that... I know. Isn't that nice? But, um... And then you got Gilgamesh, who's, like, male wife over here, like, I made pie. Ajax is dead. My pie! Oh, yeah, didn't she have her, like, didn't we see the first breakdown? She, like, breaks the pie? What are you talking about? No, huh? Gilgamesh was get, making a pie, and he pulls it out of the oven, and they go, Ajax is dead, and he breaks down, and the pie falls, and he, like, crushes the cast iron thing. Oh, uh, okay. But no, Celia, when I, when I went to go see this movie in theater, Celia turned to be in the movie theater and goes, that's you. You're Gilgamesh. And I was like, hey, I know, but hey... I mean, that sounds about right. My pa! Well, he was like the um, the mom friend of the group. Remember? Uh, yeah, but you would be worried about your pa. He wasn't worried about the pa. He was worried about the fact that Ajax died. And then I mean, would take care of uh, Athena. Excuse me. Yeah, no. Excuse me. Yeah, because after that, they want to go get uh, Mr. Bollywood himself. Didn't they get uh, Fastos next? Which one was that one? Our first gay superhero of the MCU. No, no, no. They got him after they went and got uh, Buddy. Bollywood? Huh? Bollywood? Oh, no, they got the Bollywood guy first. The, uh, what's his name? I, I, crap, I don't remember his name. I'm like, big, so here's my, I was, I was like, big Bollywood star. What was his name? But basically, he's been in, like, Hollywood for decades. Yeah, um, here's my thing. He was like, I tricked the public into thinking I'm the great-grandson of when Hollywood pictures were stir- first invented. I was like, bruh, if you... That's pop- ingenious. Hmm? Uh, listen, that was clever. You've got to I mean, admit. I mean, it was clever, but I was like, I was more invested. I was like, well, I want to see scenes of that. Like, you got to age yourself up. You've got to quote unquote die. Oh, and then you got to have, I don't know, a family with you when you're old, golden age, or you know, a wife, or you L- know. Listen, listen. In Hollywood, in Bollywood, it's very like generational like that, so it's very possible for that to happen. Oh, okay. But the fact that, um, whatever his name was, um, uh, was like, I thought he was a vampire, but he was, I hate to say this, but he was like the, the heart of the group in a way. Oh, his assistant? Yeah. He was like, can I be frank with you, Sid? He's like, I appreciate that. But never do that again. Oh yeah. The assistant. I like the assistant. I was like, I always bring the backup camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I broke your camera. Always bring a backup camera. I was like, too shit. And then Spike breaks the another one. 
Always bring a backup backup camera. <laughs> Breaks the <laughs> other one. <laughs> Pulls out another one. Always bring a backup 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 camera. How yep. many cameras did you pack? 51. Okay. But um, then we go to... Where did we go to? Then we go to get Kyoko Mechanin. And, and then... They have to go, go get money in the village. They go what? They had to go get the money. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. They had to go get after they got Bollywood. They had to go they get got Gilgamesh. They got Gil- Gilgamesh and Athena, and then they go get Fastos. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Because he had and, a whole village. No, no. That, that's the last person they get. Is it? I'm fairly certain. Basically, they're like. He's like, I'm out of the game. I've got a family now. Uh, I'm not doing it. No. And Icarus is like, I bet this table is Wakandan or um, Vibranium. And he goes, Ikea. Fall collection. Oh, yeah. He goes, and no, then, no, no. And he just, boom, smashes it in two. I'm like, bruh. Yeah, Why are you going to... That's what I just said. But then he shoots laser at the wall. And then it, like, just absorbs the energy. And then he's like, fine, I'll do it to save the planet, to save my, my family. And then oh, yeah. they go to their ship. I'm oh, sorry, they go to get... What's his name? Krillin? His name's Krillin. It's not Krillin, but I'm, I'm going to call him Krillin. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, Krillin was in the movie yesterday. They made him so weak. I was like, Druid. Druid. They, they want to get Druid, who mind controlled the Aztecs and the Conquistadors and had his own little Amazonian village when he mind controlled. And then the Deviants show up, they kill Gilgamesh. And then they're like, okay, I'll help you. Fun fact a lot of people are thirsting over Druid. Really? Mm-hmm. And um, Makari as well. And Makari and Druig are like star-crossed lovers. Like, they pick up right where they left off flirting with each other. Fastos is just like, you. But they they go to the ship, and you know, like, okay, we're going to mind control it. And then Icarus is like, no, the plan must go on. And he kills, and... Um, Bollywood is just like, I'm stepping this one out. I'm not fighting family. And then... Athena and Icarus fight each other. And apparently everybody wants to take shots at Icarus. Because they're like, he's a douche. I mean... douche canoe had it coming. He he was a little douchey. What do you... And then everybody is like fighting, and their their plan is to mind control it. So, Drew, Cersei, and who is the other person? Makari. Uh, are <laughs> like, oh, we're gonna do mind control it, and then they're like, Icarus kills Trug, but he doesn't kill him. But they don't know that that's in Makari into outrage, and she does like great speedster stuff um animations better than uh, justice league did and then they're all finding him and fast is like no uh that's not where you go and what ends up happening is sprite and um cersei are fighting each other and Oh, sorry. I'm tired of your face. So you're tired of my face? What? So you're tired of my face? I mean, how did you know? Uh, I mean, I'd be tired. I mean, Megan hasn't seen my face for the rest of her life, so. Sucks for her. Oh. Yep. But. That would be a terrible way. What if she just gets one day we get married and then like 
two years down the road, she's like, I want a divorce. Why? I'm sick of seeing your friends. <laughs> okay. Listen, listen. I don't think you realize that this episode is coming out around the time of your wedding. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun. Because I yep. get the notifications when an episode posts. Oh, hey, let me listen to this one. I oh, am going like, I am going to divorce your ass when I get sick of your face. I was like, oh, shit. Well, well. <laughs> Life imitating art. <laughs> Don't worry, we're almost done with the movie, though. So then, um, Burger King shows up and he's like, hey, I'm about to Whoppers. You're not going to correct me on that? No. No way. Starting to worry you didn't watch the movie. No, I watched it because we're at the part. Once they get, uh, once they get that, the guy, the forger guy, is like, "All right, I got a plan. This is how we're gonna keep the, uh, the giant thing from coming out of the Earth's core from being born. We're gonna create giant rings. We're all gonna wear the rings. We're all gonna get a giant buoy kaya circle, play the ukulele, absorb the energy, tie him down, and then kabooey. No, they were gonna control him to make him go back to sleep when. Icarus like shot Drew. They're like, well, Drew's dead now, and Icarus killed him. And everyone teams up to beat up um, Icarus. And Cersei is trying to stop him by transmuting him now, using the power of the rings. Yep. And then the main deviant shows up, gets in a fight with Athena, and I think dies. Yeah, Athena's... Which was... It was a weird B-plot. You, you know? Was... Yeah, yeah. But... Basically, and then... There's this whole confrontation about Sprite and Cersei, and they're like... I've always loved Icarus. And, uh, and Cersei's like, hold up. What? And he, she's like, he can never love me because I can never age... Or be mature enough because my body was created to do like this, and they learn their their synthesis at some point, and then yeah, I was like, and then Druid comes out of nowhere and knocks the child out, and everyone cheered in the theater when she knocked out Sprite. No, when Sprite got knocked out by Druid. No, I mean I thought that was weird. Cause she's like, he'll never love me because of my body. I was like, I mean, you kind of look like a, like a child. You know? I mean that. I was like, well, I mean, listen. Only sh- thing she needs to do is just meet a Green Lantern named Hal Jordan. She'll be fine. Did you say date Hal Jordan? Yeah. Oh no, no, we're not talking about that. No, not here. I know exactly. Yeah, he what did our- that in the comics. He dated a child. No, we're not going down that arc. Hmm. Well, just here to remind you that it happened. Mm-hmm. I know we've we've had hours of conversations about how effed up our Green Lantern got. Mm-hmm. But um, the sad part is those are his best known stories too. You don't know the sad part is I'm more of a DC fan than a Marvel fan when it comes to the comic books. Um, and you're more you're more of a Marvel fan when it comes to the comics. Oh yeah, hands down. Just I, I prefer the Bat Family and Super Band and stuff like that. And you're like, I like Spider Man because he goes phew phew and swings from a web. <laughs> Are you sound like Megan? Megan made that joke a couple nights ago. She's like, you like Spider Man because he goes doom doom. I was like, he does go doom doom. Yeah. But basically, the the slash show is like, you know what? I'm I don't want this beef, and then uses the Eternals to like help Cersei turn him to stone, and people are just like, oh, cool rock formation, <laughs> because they have no clue what happened. They have no clue the Eternals like this, and she gets back with Kit Harrington. They joke about being a giraffe, 
and then the Eternal was like, you will be judged, we'll judge Earth based on your memories, and takes Sprite, who can age now, because Cersei did her magic fingers on her. Yep. Uh, the the uh, Bollywood guy, and Fastos. I'm not gonna lie, when he took him, I was like, yeah, they're dead. I was like, that, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, what happens next? And then Dina, Makari, and Druid are all in space. Druid and Makari are like lovey dovey, and then boom, who would show up? But. Harry Styles! That's exactly right, actually. <laughs> Star Fox, which raised the question is Thanos an Eternal? Mm. Then we get the end credit scene of uh, Kit Harrington. We look, I've got to go save. I've got to go stop Winter. I mean, I've got to go save Cersei. And Blade's like, You sure you want to do that? And that is how the movie rolled. Na, 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 na. Yep. So, that Although, was, here's my question. Have, I'll hold on a minute. We got to go to an ad break, and then you can give, give your critique. All right. Hello, we're back. I don't want to. We're back. Okay. Well, I guess you have to give your critique now. So here's my question. All right. What is love? Yes, but we don't have time for that. Uh, baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. No. But, uh, there's my question. Who is the goat guy? What? Who was the goat guy that was drinking the beers? Or the elf guy? Uh, I, that's the Herald person? He, he proclaimed his name? Oh. Listen. Do you, you want to know something that confuses me utterly to the core about the MCU right now? What's up? Patton Oswald. What about him? Okay. He's riddled in the MCU. So he's this goat guy in the main movies now, okay? Alright. He's a little satyr fucker. Um, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he's a whole slew of agents that are like quintuplets, quadrillion uplets, whatever. There's a lot of them. Like, entire family that just looks like him. Ooh. Okay? Alright. Like, he's he's that many agents. Like, an entire generation of the field. Well, you know he voices uh, Modoc on the Who. Yes! Have you seen that one? No, but I know he's in it. And th- he's in something else in the MCU, but I can't remember what it is. The Murdoch show wasn't terrible. It's weird, but it's not terrible. You get what I'm saying? He's riddled throughout Marvel right now. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, what, he's... What, what? What? Yeah, he's like the biggest a-hole on the planet. What are you talking about? Dude, Patter Watson's known for being an a-hole. I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, remember Blade? Yeah. He was horrible to the people on set. Big oh, diva. I, I know, Wesley Snipe as a diva? I was like, I could see it, but at the same time, I'm like, wow. Like, he, he had no right to being that crappy to the staff. And there was one day he refused to open his eyes. They had to record CGI his eyes on. <laughs> they gotta open your eyes. No, I gotta give you vampire eyes. No, I wanna. No. And then there was it's one day he refused to talk. Um. So I don't. I don't get the point of it. Dude, if I got to star in a superhero movie and just make like a couple hundred thousand dollars, I will be there bright and early, and I will not complain not one bit. 
Could you record a podcast this early? Nope, but you know what? I'd send you pictures of the super suit. As long as it's not green or animated. Kyle, guess what? I'm in my own hero movie. Who do you play as? I'm trying to think of a character. No, I'm trying to think of a character that needs that's CGI. Um, not really. Thanos, the Seder guy, the Eternal, um, the Deviant. Uh, I'm trying to think of one they haven't done yet. Then oh, that's a big CGI. Oh. Domination, oh. a bomb. Hey, I'm gonna be the Hulk. I'm gonna be the new Hulk. Uh, you're not Asian. Not the Asian. This is gonna be some weird redneck Hulk cousin. The inbred Hulk from. You're the inbred Hulk. I'm the inbred Hulk. No, that's an actual thing from the comics, right? Wait, for real? Yeah. I don't want to pick up that comic. I know I want to pick up the Amazing Sheep Boy, but I'm not picking that up. I, I it was like Old Man Logan or something, or Old Man Hawkeye. Oh no! Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, that world's so messed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. That world's so messed up. Welcome to the misery. Oh, I don't want to be miserable. Need the human torch. Um, trying to think of CG, Mr. Fantastic. The thing. Uh, we all know Jim from the Office is Mr. Fantastic. Now we can't have it. I can't have that role. Silly screen. Ooh, Silver Surfer would be a good one. Uh, your mom uh, my mom is waitress number two with a speaking role now you know that no I, I, I have to break it to you Devin your mom is CGI uh oh how did you not catch on to that until now no oh my mom was real right buddy right 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 that explains why there's all those white balls around the house yep Needed to break it to you like this. At least she's not the crappy 90s CGI. Ugh. Don't remind me. Well. I think that uh, recaps the movie, Devin. Did you got any other statements you would like to talk about? One, when the, when the Eternals were robots, I had so many questions. Like, one, how did you not know you were a robot? Two... How did you not know you're a robot when your members keep being replaced? Three. Have you ever- No, Devin, answer the question. Two. No, answer the question, you idiot. No, two. Their minds kept getting wiped. (laughs) If I kept wiping your mind, would you remember? (laughs) No. There's your answer, you idiot. Two. How come- you mean to tell me that they never notice that they don't bleed? They do bleed. They do? Yeah. Ajax could heal people. I'm done with my comments. The only comment I have left to say is that the Wakanda Forever trailer, the Wakanda Forever movie is going to be bad to the bone. Oh, okay. We weren't talking about that. We were talking about this movie. That's all I have to say because I just made myself a complete moron. That's beside the point. I'm gonna go sit in my corner and sip on my body armor through a straw. You would endanger the turtles like that. Future. You're you're, you're something else, man. I know. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is sacrifice you to the Eternals or the Celestials. Oh, so, wait. Here's my other question. And maybe you can answer this. Maybe you can. Dude, why weren't the Avengers coming out of the woodworks when, I don't know, a giant arm was coming out of the ocean? See, everyone thought it was just a giant rock formation that just appeared overnight. Um, I think when half the universe got blipped, 
um, they were like, well, no one's disappeared, but I mean, there's a lot worse things. Oh well, look at this neat rock formation. Alright. Dude, that makes the last time the Avengers encountered a rock, half the universe disappeared. I think a giant rock formation was like, well, this could have been a lot worse. Meanwhile, a th- single dad with, with a rock collection devastated half the universe, Devin. And you want them to be concerned about a rock formation. Yes. That wanted to go Betty by. Yes. Wow. Well, well, are you ready to rate this? You know what? I am. Okay. What are you rating this, Devin? Um, you know, I like this movie. I did. I, you know, you compare it to, I hate to say it, it's way better than Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. And, you know, I thought, um, you know, I don't know who the Eternals were, so I came into this blindly. I recommend you read some form of the comics. Don't be like me. But it's not terrible. Like I said, it's not terrible. I don't think it's a masterpiece, but I enjoyed it, so I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Huh. Not too far off. I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. I like the Eternal thing. I took out some points for the Eternal thing or the uh, Deviant thing at the end where it's like, I'm still here as a minor villain. Hear me. I'm going to absorb your powers. And I'm dead. Um, I thought it was just like weird and not well thought out. Mm-hmm. I I get that it turned the major villain turned out to be Icarus, and the deviants were using him, but that was no reason to like. I I get he was just trying to recreate the Backstreet Boys and have the Backstreet Boys back all right. But, I mean, hey, it's pretty weird, you know? Right. Like Devin trying to ma- play Minecraft. Um, I did love the representation in the movie. Uh, we got the first gay character in the Marvel Universe. Um, and we got a slew of new characters with space-themed problems. Um, Interested to see where we go with that, with the multiverse of madness and all that. Because uh, multiverse mania is coming up and quantum mania. I know. And we're ready to get Krang. Kang. Oh, sorry, Kang. I'm thinking of TMNT. But um, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I do think some minor stuff could have been better, but I think this is like. A solid movie that you could rewatch several times, like maybe nine or ten times. That's oddly specific. But um, next week we're going to be watching either a uh, horror the nineteen sixty six or sixty nine. I don't remember exactly right now, but yeah, not got another Godzilla movie for you, Devin. Hooray! Warning, there will be crustaceans involved. Oh no, not the fish. You know what, sure. I'm not going to correct you on this one. <laughs> but, um, Devin? Yep. Would you kindly do the honors? Teenage Mutant Ninja Deviants. Here. <laughs>